Right then, are you ready? So let's have a look at this one then. So it says, in Blackport, the price of a night's accommodation at a two-star hotel could be modelled with a normal distribution with a mean of 72.8 and a standard deviation of 8.7. So X follows a normal of 72.8 comma 8.70 squared. Remember it's a variance in there. To investigate whether there's been a change in the mean price, a random sample of 10 is taken. So I'm switching now to X bar follows a normal distribution of 72.8 and it's 8.70 squared over 10. Remember the sample standard deviation, what you'd use in your calculator, is 8.70 over root 10. That's what goes in your calculator. Right now, look at this. This is interesting. So I've got like a, I've got, a, I've got my sample. So for my sample, oops, I'd want to work out what x bar is, then I know what I'm testing against. So we can do that in a minute. Right, so let's set it up then. So n, the null, is h naught, is that mu is 72 power 80. The alternate, h1, so what's it saying then? Show that this sample provides evidence at the 5% significance level to conclude that the mean price of two-star hotel accommodation has changed. So that's going to be not equal to, because it's vague, it's going to be a two-tail. So £72.80. So NAS, so significance level. Uh, so what we have, 5% significance level. Now the tail is 2 tail. So it's 2.5% at each end. So 0 0.025 at each end. So I'm splitting it. Right, so now I'm going to do it my way and then I'm going to do it the standardized way. Right, so from a test start, if I, I put those numbers in there, my x bar is, so these numbers here, these give an average of, uh, what is it, £67.10. So my x bar is £67.10. Now then, I need to decide, because it's two tail, I need to decide if I'm doing less than or greater than when I check it. Because my x bar is less than my mu, I'm going to go with that tail. So I'm going to look to the left. Because if it's less than, I'll expect it to be less than. So I'm going to look at the probability that x bar is less than £67.10. In my calculator, my lower is minus 10,000. My upper 67.1 sigma which is 8.7 over root 10 and mu is 72.8 if you do that in your calculator you get roughly 0 0.191 there and then I'm at a point now where I can do my conclusion so for my conclusion so remember I'm looking at the oh, 0 0.01 sorry uh, let me check the key stick a zero it's 0.01, so 0.0191. So in terms of a conclusion, 0.0191, the bottom 1.9%, is less than 0.025. Therefore, I reject H0. And there is sufficient evidence the 5% significance level to suggest that the, the mean price to that, <laughs> that the price has changed there. That's at 4 minutes 28, 4 minutes 30. Um, I'm tempted to just kind of, there's only a U, there's a U try after that, isn't there? I'm tempted just to pause this now and I'll put on the standardized way. Right, so you probably want to pause it to have a look. So the standardized way doesn't do the X bar is less than 67.1. It changes it into Z, which gives us a Z value of minus 2.072. The 67 is less than the 72, so I'm doing less than. And it gives me that.